All right, today I'm going to just review a few things about how to use Seesaw. The first thing that we're going to review is how to log in. If you have an iPad or a tablet, you can download the Seesaw app for students. Once you're in the app, you're going to tap, I'm a student. And then we can just use our QR code to get in. So here's my home learning code sheet. And I'm going to move the iPad till it finds the QR code. And now I'm in. If you have a computer at home, you can go into the internet. I'm in Internet Explorer and visit the Seesaw website. You're going to click login, select I'm a student, and then you can type in your text code. And the text code is also found on this piece of paper. Now that I'm logged into my own individual Seesaw account, uh, the first thing that I want to do is check and see if my teacher has left me any announcements. So to check my announcements, I'm going to go to the inbox and it's found right over here. I'm going to tap on the inbox and this will bring up my class announcements. And in my class announcements, I can see either messages or notifications. And if I tap on notifications, I can see I have 35 notifications and there's my messages. Once I've checked my announcements and read or watched any videos that my teacher has left for me, the next thing that I'm going to do is check and see what assignments I have to do today, what activities have been left for me. And the activities are found right here in this light bulb. So I'm going to tap on the activities and I can see that my teacher has assigned an activity for me to do. So I'm going to add a response to this activity. I'm going to read my instructions as well. So it's called Seesaw Refresher, draw a smiley face and post in the art folder. So I'll tap add response and I've been asked to draw a smiley face. So I'm going to create a drawing. And red smiley face. Okay, I'm happy with my drawing. So I'm going to tap on my green check mark. Okay, and now I'm not quite finished because this also asked me to put my work into the art folder. So I'm going to tap on this little file folder down here and tap on the one that says art and now it's been saved in the art folder and if I want to go back or make sure that I've put something in the correct folder there's a little folder over here and I can find all of my items that have been filed away in these folders here so if I'm looking for any particular assignments I can see I've got three things that have been put in my math folder so this will just help keep my work well organized. Okay, so I've posted my assignment and I'm going to wait and make sure that my teacher has time to approve my assignment because I remember that my work won't show up right away in my feed. Um, but if I go into my inbox now, I can see that my teacher has approved my assignment and maybe I want to make a comment to my teacher about this assignment. Maybe I want to say something that I thought I did well, so I can tap on this assignment and it'll take me there. And then I can tap on this little uh, speech bubble and write a comment to my teacher and say something like, I liked this assignment. And now I can post that. And again, it says waiting for teacher approval. So I'll wait for her to approve that. Now, say I wanted to post something interesting that I found around my house or a piece of artwork maybe that I did at home that wasn't an assignment or an activity assigned by my teacher. I can just press this add button here 
and create any type of work to go into my journal and then I can just press the check mark when I'm finished. Okay, let's imagine that I have lost my piece of paper that has my login information and I'm not sure what to do. I'm just gonna send an email to my teacher and my teacher can send me my login information again.